Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is Git? Let me answer. Git is a version control system or version control software. Okay, so what does it do? It tracks the history, okay? And uh, it lets you work together. So let me give you some diagrammatic explanation so that you will understand how Git is a version control system and how does it track your history and uh, let you work together with other colleagues in your or at your workspace in your project, okay? So here is the thing. So what happens generally is, let's say in a single project, let's say this is a project that you're working and uh, as an automation engineer, let's assume, okay? And uh, you see, this is you and uh, this is the other person who is working along with you and this is another automation tester. Let's say these four people are working on the same project. Okay, in the same project, these four people are working and these four people are automating. Let's say this person, that is you, are automating the some test cases related to login functionality. Let's assume this person is working on logout, uh, automating the logout scenarios or logout test cases. This person is working on search functionality. Okay. Let's say this person is working on register functionality. Okay. Automating. All are automating simultaneous. So at the end, what we have to do is you cannot keep your code with you, right? The project keep uh, project code need to be there at a single place. Okay. It cannot be there in your machine or your friend's machine or your colleague's machine or any other's machine. But at the end, once you finish creating the automation scripts for the task that is assigned for you, then it's your duty to put your code, okay, or place your code at a location where the project code is maintained, okay? So maybe a centralized uh, repository. You can call that as for now as a centralized repository in centralized uh, repo or repository. It can be online. It can, uh, is generally online these days, okay? It's on the cloud. It's not a machine that you can see in your... Uh, Office, rather it is a centralized repository, which is there on the cloud, like uh, Google Drive, Gmail, etc., which is, which can be accessed uh, via the internet. Okay, and uh, this has some space where you can upload your code okay, and all those stuff. Let's say initially, what you do is uh, you have automated this, and you have to put your code here, right? You have to place your code here. Now the other person has also completed uh, this functionality, and this person also has to place the code here in the centralized repository. And this, uh, this person also completed and has to place a code here in the cent uh, centralized repository. And uh, this person has completed and has to place a code here in the centralized repository. So everyone is working together as a team and placing their code at a centralized location. And this code is automation code of the entire project. Okay, uh, uh, instead of a single functionality, it's uh, the project automation code is placed here. And this code is being worked by all the different people in the team, okay? So this is a case in real time. Now, how to upload this code here? How you see the code will be there in your laptop. Let's say this person has his own laptop. This person has his own laptop. This person has his own his or her own laptop. This person has his own her own laptop. So initially they will write their code in their laptop, and from that laptop they have to move the code to the centralized repo, right? From the laptop they have to move the code to the centralized repo like this. And okay, this is what is happening. Uh, to uploading the code, okay? To upload the code to the centralized repository, repository, what we use? We use Git. We use a Git software, okay? We use a Git software, and uh, this software has some commands using which we can upload the code. I'm not going to reveal the commands in this session, okay? Because that will be out of topic because the, uh, Git is a big uh, topic. I'm just explaining what exactly is Git, uploading the code, okay? We can, using Git, we can upload the code using some separate command will be there in the Git. And this Git, before uploading the code, uh, this person, let's say you are uploading the automation code of login to the centralized repository. Repository First, you have to install Git in your machine, okay? Git installation should happen in your machine as a software. Git is a software, actually, okay? It comes as a software. You can go to the web and search for Git, and uh, I'm not going there also. Uh, I'm not going to show you the website from where you have to download and all. Okay, because that will deviate the topic here only conceptual wise and explaining. You have to download the kit and install it in your machine. And then after that, you are entitled to run some commands 
in your machine. Okay, there will be some git command line kind of tool from where you have to run some commands, some kind of git sort of commands, which will upload the code. Like that, everyone will be uploading the code. Suddenly what happened was there was a new person who has joined the team and uh, this person doesn't have any code in his or her or, uh, machine, okay? Because there's a new joining. So everyone is already working on the uh, project and they're automating the stuff. And this person is brand new. This person, he or her, uh, you know, don't have any code which is already written. So what this person has to do is, this person has to first download the code, not uploading, okay? Has to take the copy of this code, entire copy of the code, okay? Download the entire copy of the code. For that, there will be another git command. For uploading, there will be a git command. For downloading, there will be a git command, okay? So once downloaded, uh, this person starts working on one functionality and again uploads the code. Now these people doesn't have the code updated by this person and they have to update their code, okay? They don't have to download the code, entire code, rather they have to up, up, update the code uh, up, or update the new changes in the central repository and get the latest copy of the centralized project code into their machine. So here it's not about downloading, but it's updating the code. Okay, updating the existing code with the latest code. And, uh, and and this person before uploading also have to make sure he downloads up updated code and then uploads the latest code. So like that, everyone will update their code, update the latest code, uh, patch up their code, whatever they worked on and upload the latest code. Downloading, uploading, downloading, uploading, updating. This kind of stuff happens between the machines. And uh, Git software will allow you to allow all these people in the project to work together as a team, okay? And not only that, because of this uh, many people working on the same project and they're uploading their code here, there are some chances that one of the person may upload a faulty code, some wrong code, okay? This person, let's say this person has uploaded some faulty code and some errors are coming for everyone. Then what these people can do is, they can revert the code to the previous version. When someone uploads the code, a new, a new repo will be created automatically, okay? Like this, some version history will be maintained. Original code, first, first version will be there. Second version of the code, some, someone has uploaded the code with the up, updated code, uh, second uh, version will be there. If some other person, some other repo with all the code with the latest changes will be there. Like that multiple repositories, uh, multiple folders will be, our repos will be maintained in the centralized repository with multiple versions. So that if let's say this person has uploaded the code and the version five came and previous versions were version one, version two, version three, version four, and this code is giving the errors for everyone. So what the team will do is they will revert back to the fourth version, which was working fine like that. Okay. And once the fixer coding, this person will upload the code again. If everything is working fine, they'll move on with the versions. Here version history is maintained. And while the people are up, up, uh, uploading the code, they'll put the comment saying that uh, we have worked on this. Okay, this has been updated. This uh, functionality has been automated as part of this check-in and all the stuff. Okay, so this version history. So all the version history will be maintained. Multiple copies of the same project code will be maintained for every small uh, change that is uploaded here. Okay, so people working together may make the things clumsy. And, uh, you know, because of that clumsiness, the project will fail, okay? Errors will come. So it's better to maintain the version history and uh, maintain who has uploaded the code, at what time the person has uploaded code, what is the name of the person and what uh, the person work, what type of work the person or what work uh, the person has uploaded the code, what were uh, related to which work the code has been uploaded. And all those version history will be maintained here so that if any problem goes on, we can revert back, okay, to the previous versions. That's what is called as version history or tracking the history, whatever you say, okay. With Git, this kind of tracking of the history is possible. Where with uh, via some Git commands, when you are uploading the code, you have to mention some comments saying that, okay. So uploading the automation scripts for login, so and so login functionality. So people will know that this person has checked. Uh, uploaded the code at this particular point of time on that particular day, okay? Uh, and uh, for that particular functionality, that person has uploaded the code and whether the code is working fine or not, like that, okay?
tracks the history of each and every person, which is very crucial in version controlling softwares and version controlling systems these days because multiple people are working on the same project at the same time. And uh, obviously, if you're tracking the history and uh, making the people to work together, like downloading, uploading the latest codes and all in between their machines and centralized repository on the clouds, okay, that means version control system or version control software will allow you to work the team together. This is the main thing about the version control systems or softwares and Git is free. Git is free for you. You can freely download it from their website and it's open source. Uh, you can even the developers of the Git has put the develop uh, whatever the code they have written for developing the Git software open for the public. You can download the code and you can enhance it if, if you want. Uh, that is out of reach for us. But uh, if you are really that kind of person, you can go to that horizon and super fast. You see, unlike uh, version control systems, which are older SVNs and, you know, people used to use SVNs and, uh, you know, create local repos uh, in their uh, office networks and all, which used to create the repos and they used to take a lot of time, but uh, this Git is very fast, super fast, will create uh, version copies very fast, okay? And many other advantages are there and how to use it. First, you have to, as I already mentioned, I'm not going to show you practically, but in your, uh, all the people in this project working on the project, all the people who are working on this project have to first install the Git software in their machines from the website of Git. And uh, later they have to use the uh, different Git software commands. A lot of commands are there in Git for performing various operations uh, like uploading the code to the centralized repo, updating the code into their uh, local machine or downloading the entire code. Like that every, uh, every operation has a separate uh, Git command that you can run in the Git software command line tool after installing the Git software in your machine. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.